It was weather whiplash for me as February came to an end. After being stranded for two days in a blizzard in Wyoming, I changed out my wardrobe for warmer weather and set my sights on Oklahoma for the Central Plains' first severe weather setup of the year. In that one flash, I witnessed my first tornado of the season, the last few seconds of an EF-1, one of several tornadoes that touched down around Oklahoma City. It spawned from storms that formed to the west in Texas and raced into Oklahoma through the evening. That storm caused some minor damage in southwest Oklahoma City, but fortunately was not as destructive as other nearby tornadoes. The severe weather cleared out for a couple of days, long enough for me to push further to the southeast. Wednesday storms in Arkansas were loud, but relatively mild compared to what followed the next day. Large hail from this supercell northwest of Dallas looked almost like the blizzard I had left a week earlier. Winds knocked this tree onto a tractor, and hail fog made for an eerie scene in its wake, but the biggest round was still to come. A powerful line of storms with winds exceeding 75 miles per hour flipped semis and knocked out power across Dallas. Scenes like this played out all across the city. All told, I covered nearly 3,000 miles on the road in a 10-day stretch, starting with the blizzard in Wyoming, seeing my first tornado of the season in Oklahoma, and ending with the destructive storms in Texas. And the storm chase season is just getting started. For AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Tony Lawback. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out these other videos here, and be sure to subscribe for new content and the latest weather news from AccuWeather.